In this video, we're going to look at how to append some HTML with JavaScript. So you might have some times when you need to actually insert some new HTML into your document, but you want to be careful to preserve the existing content that's there. So in this video, I'll show you a useful function that will allow you to append HTML at whatever part you want in your document without actually removing any existing content. So here in the browser, I've just got a few elements set up. Um, I've got a div with an ID of container and also a heading and a paragraph with an ID of content. So you might be aware that there are a few properties that you can access on these elements. So for example, on the content paragraph tag, we can actually access its inner text or inner HTML properties and just assign it a new value. But as you can see, it removes any of the existing content, which is what we're trying to avoid in this case. So you could do something like this where you actually keep a copy of the existing content and then add on to it. And as you can see, by concatenating the strings together, we're actually appending some new text, although that could be HTML as well, onto the end of our paragraph tag. So whilst that works fine, it can lead to some messy code and there is a better way of doing it, which is to use a special function called insert adjacent HTML. And this function takes two arguments. The first is the position of where we actually want to insert that HTML. And the second is the actual text that we want to put in that position. And there are four options we can give the position. The first is before the actual element starts itself. And that is before begin. And you can see with this position argument, the actual new element gets created before the actual element that we've called it on. Another option is to say after begin, which will put the new text or HTML inside the element, but right before any of the other child nodes inside it. So you can see this time the M tag has been put inside of the content paragraph tag, but it's been placed before any other nodes within the paragraph tag. And we can also use before end, which you can see again puts it inside of the paragraph tag, but this time it's before the actual paragraph tag gets closed. So after any other content that's already existing in the element is rendered. And the final one is after end, which as you'd expect, puts the new HTML outside of the element, but before any other HTML elements occur within the DOM. So that's just a quick demonstration of that really useful function, insert adjacent HTML. And you can use it to append HTML or simple text to any element within your document. All you need to do is specify one of those positions and also the HTML that you want to insert at that position.